I do People have, don't understand, I I've never really explained it, that this isn't a hobby for me, and it's not even a job, it's a lifestyle. Gold prospecting gave me back my freedom of my life. If you know my story, then you know that gold prospecting pulled me out of the darkest place I have ever been. This pastime gave me back my life, and the least I can do is make sure I'm really good at it. Want it, want it, want it, want it. Feel like a big dog, big dog, all in the wrist, dog, Chris Paul. Never I love this. Broad, Wouldn't trade it for anything. I mean, what's the point in doing something you love if you're not going to give it your absolute everything? I'm counting these points up and counting my bliss. Feel like I'm running the court if we talking about balling and walking and taking my time. I treat the game like a sport if he talking. I'm all in my mall in my bag every time. I put his face on the post of that thing and I host of they screaming. I have a massive day ahead of me. First of all, we have to do fern snake avoidance training. She did that about three months ago, but we have to do like a reuptake course just to make sure it's settled into her head. Then Gadzi and I are going to a new spot to have a little bit of a check around and see if we can't find any good gold. Then after that, I've got to pick fern up, do more training with her, and finally work out, cook dinner, and probably go to bed. I don't need a lot more of this. I do what I have what I want it. Just pass me the ball and I'll run it. Just out exploring. Really wasn't expecting to find a gold nugget, but here we are. Standing on this beautiful big boulder obstruction, and I've just been working in this little triangle area here. Five or six okay little pieces, every single pan, enough to keep me interested. I just got a big rock out of the way. And as I'm panning it down, I'm seeing, I'm seeing that. And when you see a piece of gold, stick above the sand when you haven't washed it down at all it's usually a bigger bit of gold so <laughs> we're gonna find out it is, <laughs> it is. <laughs> Gadzi, I found a nugget <laughs> yeah. ah! oh. oh he's a sharp little bit too I will <laughs> Oh, the stuff you find when you're just out having a look. <laughs> Have a look at my nugget. You like? Yeah. So I'm not moving. I've got shade and gold. <laughs> I've got shade. <laughs> well, halfway there. It only really counts as a nugget if it gets stuck. Oh, it didn't get stuck. It's a picker. This water is also full of leeches. So I'm super paranoid at the moment because I'm... I've got wet shoes on. I very much doubt we're going to get another nugget, but we might get some more nice specs. Yeah. Yeah, they're good size. Look at that. And I got a little bit of micro up this end as well. Today might be a good day. I mean, I've already played with a bunch of the world's most venomous snakes this morning. What could possibly go wrong? Here we have the very next pan. Hopefully the gold will remain real consistent from here on out. Oh yeah, look at that. These bits are nice. Not heaps of bits, but they're definitely making up for it in size. How goes the gold progress? Yeah, few specs, <laughs> not nuggets. <laughs> not nuggets. Tell me you don't want a piece of this action. Look at that. No! The deeper I'm going into that, and I'm now shoulder deep, the less gold I am getting. So there's obviously a very nice rich pay layer a little bit higher, and there's no real need to dig any deeper. I spent a couple of hours in this spot just panning down, and we've found some pretty decent gold. This is definitely going to be a future spot. Oh yeah. That is definitely the creme de la creme though. 
What a find, absolute score of the day. And all the specs are a really good size. Ooh, we are on. We're not in the right format, but we're on. The fact that this phone still works is phenomenal because we just introduced it to a rock in the creek. I buy waterproof phones because I've drowned a few. That doesn't make them rock proof. So right now the whole screen is completely smashed. You're going in for repairs while I go pick up Fern. Fern, I heard you did so good at snake training. Oh my God, and daycare. Yeah. Lost focus and lost track of plenty folks. Got about my feelings in my city and I really rose. Bring it all back home and bring them with me. Now that's really goals. They can't stop me. No matter what they do, they can't stop me. I am in love with the gold from that spot. It is quite coarse in my area and I even pulled out a little junk sapphire, which bodes well for the gems. 100% guaranteed, I don't need this miller table to clean this small amount of concentrate up, but it's so much fun, as if I'm not going to use it. I have the valve almost closed, so we're just gonna start turning the water up a little bit. There we go. Oh, there's our Nagito. Yeah. It's got some serious shape about it, I love it. The trick with this machine is to take your time. You can go fast, you can strip this stuff down in seconds. But because I've got so much ultra fine gold, we're just going nice and slow. I could be super pedantic about getting this absolutely spotlessly clean, but there's not really any point for that. You see, Reed's Prospecting has given me a bunch of these MindLab prize packs to give away, and this month I'm giving two away over on Patreon. I'm also adding these gold rat stubby holders, and after we weigh up that little nugget down there, I'm gonna put the nugget in one pack, and I'm gonna put the rest of the gold in the other pack. And if you don't wanna be part of Patreon, that's absolutely fine. I've got some free giveaways of the same prize packs, I'm even gonna include some gold in them as well. Look at all of that beautiful gold. What do you reckon that one weighs? I seem to spill gold everywhere. What do you reckon? I'm thinking 0.1, but there's a little bit of quartz in it, so I'm gonna go point, mm, point 0.9. O point o nine four. That, that's a good result for a new spot. I'm stoked about that. No, well, it's late. I'm uh, gonna have dinner. I'm gonna get up in the morning. Do it all again. Bring it all back home and bring them with me. Now that's really goals. They can't stop me. No matter what they do, they can't stop me.